In the hours leading up to the first presidential debate, Facebook was full of claims that Joe Biden was going to wear an earpiece during the debate. A false rumor fueled by speculation from the Trump campaign and Fox News. The Biden campaign refused an ear check? That is correct. We came here to Minnesota the day after the debate for a Trump rally. And even though this earpiece nonsense has been fact-checked and thoroughly debunked, some people still believe it. Well, I thought Biden was had a uh, um, somebody in his ear. He thought Biden had like an earpiece? I think, yes. One that you couldn't see. I did see a video of him, his wires slipping from underneath his suit. What is that? Now there is a false video circulating on social media there it is. that purports to prove he was wearing a wire for an earpiece. Oh, yes. oh there, it is. there it is. But as multiple fact checkers have pointed out, it's clearly just a crease in his shirt. Right there. Isn't that just a crease in a shirt? No, no it's, it's not. not. You're really? That is no. a wire. Oh, but please, it's... even if you're with CNN, you can be no, honest. But let's watch it again here. People know what to do. They can social distance. They can wash the hands. They can wear masks. They can do whatever they want. But they got to open these states up. That's actually been fact checked. There's multiple fact checkers here who've done it. Lead stories says. Biden was not wearing a wire during presidential debate. It's a shirt crease. They shouldn't be fact-checking anything. They should allow people to have a voice. Also pushing the false earpiece claims, followers of QAnon. Do you consider yourself a conspiracy theorist? No, I find myself looking for the truth. I have never really had this much time on my hands in my life to be able to dig and find out what is going on. Do you get some of this information through QAnon or no? Some. Do you follow QAnon at all? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I love QAnon. So if I'm describing QAnon, yeah, yeah. I say it is a conspiracy theory that believes that there's this cabal of pedophiles linked to the Democratic Party that are eating children. And the FBI has said that it's a dangerous uh, conspiracy that could inspire domestic terrorism. How would you describe it? I would say absolutely not. I would describe it as a global awakening. Can you believe some of QAnon and not all of us? Yes. Yeah. So what for you is the stuff with QAnon that you don't believe? There's a whole lot of different rabbit holes it gets, goes down. But um, yeah, the backbone of it is just patriots from all diff all over the world. See the rapid time. Well, Lamar, this vendor who sells Trump hats and t-shirts outside the president's rallies says more and more people have been asking for QAnon merchandise. When did people start asking for, for QAnon? Since July, people have been asking us heavily for QAnon. People started to wake up, people started to see it. Then it became a movement. Now it's almost turned into some sort of cult-like figure, you know? And that's just what happens in America.